All right, we're just leaving our break spot. And right before the entrance, at first I thought these were cows, but they have bison here too. What? Look at that. Didn't we say they got everything here? Wow. So don't miss it. Coming out of the ranch. Can't see. Coming out of the ranch, look for that. Um, you walk the road for a little bit, but then you turn off of it before you hit Highway 60, and it kind of zigzags for a little bit. So look for that little light post, and then it looks like it turns at this fence line right here. About a mile, mile and some change. So yeah, be on the lookout. So thankfully, there's a little divot here we can cross because that does not look fun crossing. And the trail continues somewhere over here, I think. Either that one or that one. We're gonna figure it out. All right, so don't cross where I was just showing you to cross because you're not supposed to go that way. And I was wondering, because it was getting pretty thick bushwhacky um, you're supposed to stay on the other side of the canal so stay stay on point there yeah so this is where you're supposed to be um, yeah not many people are gonna make that mistake <laughs> of course you don't cross the canal um, you stay on this side and there was a blaze that we just passed too Oh, hard to walk backwards. Where'd they go? Under the grass. Oh. Oh, there they are. You can see, you can see Mama's head. Come on, wild pigs. Pop out for the camera. Nope. The cow. Oh my God, it's a big cow. The cow says, that's my trail, thou shalt not pass. I'm sorry, buddy. I know you were enjoying that shade. <laughs> yeah, sorry, bud. Look at him chomping. He's like, yeah, what you want? He's like, what you know about that? I mean, you can go right back to it if we can just squeeze by. Yeah, yeah, that's what, you don't got to go down a hill. I mean, I know that's a lot of effort. Oh, come on, man. It's okay. You got some clackers on you, buddy. Respect. Respect. Appreciate it, buddy. Go back to your tree when you want to. Man, he just does not care. He just does not care. He's a lot quicker than I was. So they actually locked the gate right before um, the road walk. So you got to hop it. Um, but yeah. About to hit this road, cut across, there's somewhere in point three. We can grab some shade real quick before we hit it for about five miles. But some highway road walkings in our future. So this is our last view of Kissimmee River. Um, after this, we're not gonna be paralleling it or bouncing around with it anymore. So we're about to cross that bridge and yeah, last view. Nice, so the bridge has a pedestrian walkway. If you look to your left, I think these are the headwaters of the Kissimmee River. I think it's the very start of the lake. If you could see all the way out there, you would see a big body of water by the name of Lake Kissimmee. Very, very cool. Watch out for gators now. All right, Kissimmee, we're going to kiss you goodbye. It's time. Smooch, smooch. Later, Kissimmee. Oh, we'd be highway road walking now. We'd be highway road walking now. <laughs> if you can't hear him, he said the Great Florida Road Walk. Hey, there's a sense of truth to that. There's definitely a sense of truth to that. Woo, Woo baby. 
wow. By far, by far, by far, one of the busiest roads I have ever hiked. Um, the amount of semi-traffic on this road is absolutely endless. When I say by far one of the busiest, by far one of the busiest roads ever hiked. It was just endless. I mean, at least over 500 semis in four miles. That was nuts. Whew, oh, almost dropped the camera. Um, yeah, be wary. When you're hot walking um, Highway 60, definitely be wary. Jesus. Nice size rattler almost walked up on. Huh. I was just having my head down, looking at the road. It's a good size one though. Big snake right there, watch out. Oh, the bane of my existence. Oh man. These uh, fence lines, it's like something just chewed up this ground. Oh, baby. But we get in there about four miles and some change to camp. And yeah, we'll get there at a good time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Such uneven ground. Jeez. Couple more wet patches. Oh. Guess I can't get around this one. Uh-uh. Wow. Watch this transition from lush and green to just straight burn. Wow. Whew, glad we're out of uh, the Kissimmee area. It is pouring over there. Very glad we're out of there. All right, made it. It is a little after 5.10 and made it to the campsite. Um, there's a tent platform, there's a water pump with some primer, and yeah, gonna set up real quick before my legs cramp up, and yeah, the body starts cramping up, um, because it looks like it's gonna start raining, so gonna pop that tent up. Cool, cool. Nice looking campsite. So this is what a spread, a resupply from a general store looks like. A little bit of pre a resort. I'm sorry. A little bit of pre-cooked hot dogs. A little bit of cheddar cheddar. Always carry the sriracha baby. Look at that chili dog. Mmm. And then we are also at a pretty sick camp spot. Party always gets the picturesque spot. Like you take a picture of the tent and it's like awesome. Um, then I got a tent over there in the trees. I got a platform. Ooh, baby. And we it's beat dance floor. <laughs> our dance floor. And we beat whatever rain uh, was going to hit us. Awesome. Nice resort ranch resupply. Let's do it. All right. I wish I would have gotten this on video, but if you see that pump over there, at first it was not working for 30 minutes that we went and looked for other water. But we 
give me one sec so we ended up opening it up and there's some old electrical tape around the uh, pump seal itself and we had to replace it about four or five times um, with electrical the same electrical tape duct tape and eventually the seal caught and it is now working as of the 11th if it's not working though um, you're gonna have to open it up unscrew it all you have to do is twist on the handle and pop you don't unscrew the screw all you have to do is twist the handle so the screw comes out of its latch and you lift up and you can get into the system itself so yeah um it's working as of 211 but most likely that temporary seal is going to get busted again depending how often it's used and depending how often people apl apply a lot of pressure but i wish we would have would have been able to get video of that that was pretty cool two hikers just trying to macgyver some water out of it all right and we got some storms coming might actually keep the rain fly on morning morning folks the one tree on the prairie um today is february 12th and oh i don't have any flash on okay that's why so just look at the tree then um we are going no bow we go and gonna keep on eating some prairie miles it did rain last night it did in fact rain cool cool peace Just a giant flat area. That's pretty nice. Um, I guess you don't got to do a lot of designated camp spots. This would have been a nice spot too. But no water pump. Um, trail comes out through all that eaten up dirt. Comes right across. It's about eh, two miles, three miles. I don't think we've done a full three yet. Maybe two and a half from the good wind camp with the water pump. All right, official morning, morning, now that you can see me. Um, yeah, so we resupplied at River Ranch yesterday, did a Nero out of there, about 24, 25 miles. Um, so this is going to be a long section. Um, long section without kind of a <clears throat> shower, laundry type of like full, full blown Nero day. So we got about, I don't know, 120 miles to go until... Um, I don't know what town it is. It's mile like 380, um, 380 ish, maybe close to 390, but there's a little hody modi off the side. And when I say little, it's kind of in the Northern suburbs of Orlando. So we got about four days, including today of pushing, um, around 30 years to get there. And yeah, that'll be our first break. So that'll be about an eight or nine day section without laundry and a shower. Um, pretty long section. So never would have thought Florida would have had these long um, sections because there's really not many places coming from Okeechobee northbound to stay without having a hitch far off trail. So yeah, we got a few more days of cruisy cruisy miles and we're just gonna sit back and enjoy the view. Cool, cool. Oh, that's a funny blaze. 
So I know for a fact this video is not going to turn out the way I want it to, but the amount of spider webs in this field of just like full spider webs is just insane. I don't even know how you do any camera tricks for that type of film. Um, I tried every angle. I tried filters um, with the photos. I, I have no idea how you would filter out that bright, bright sun to get that light. That was awesome. Yup. Alright, so this is where an alternate starts. Look at how beat that sign is. The South Loop. Um, 5.5 miles connects with the Florida Trail. Don't know which one is the 5.5 mile one, but um, that's a white blaze, and that's an orange blaze. And we'd be known to follow orange blazes, so we're going to go see what this orange blaze route is about. I wonder what the orange blaze stands for. Um, probably stands for some type of trail system, right? Because when we're walking all these roads, Hardy, uh, the Florida, the Great Florida Road Walk, um, I see those orange blazes along those roads, but you think it's just like skid marks, kind of. Skid marks the trucks. Like the skid mark. Eh, well, I'm going to refrain from that joke. But, yeah, we're going this way. And there was a comment from... There's a comment from 2018 that whoever blazed the trail through this part was on acid. So <laughs> that's going to be uh, fun to check out. It makes you think that they kind of just got two paint cans in their hands, two paint brushes. Well, that's a lot to have in your hands, but um, they're just twirling around, slapping trees with blazes, <laughs> dancing through it. So yeah, we'll see what it's about. So this is the stuff I really want to try to film more of this year. Um, as you can, as you can see, the past couple days I haven't well, since we've been on trail, haven't been really able to get it that well. But it's like the moments outside of hiking. Like I'm, I'm able to show you us pushing miles, um, sweating in the heat, um, walking and talking, and what the scenery looks like. But what also makes up hiking is stuff like this. So like when you break. You're breaking, but you're getting prepped for the next mile. So you're filtering water, you're um, getting some snacks out, and then Hardy, water source is always fun. I actually missed it while I was talking, but he was braving the swamps to uh, get some of that culvert water. So yeah, even when you're breaking on trail, you got chores to do um, to get prepped for the next walk and talk or the next miles. And breaks aren't that frequent, six miles to 10 miles, um, depending on what you feel like. And yeah, I want to get more of this type of stuff and I'll try to be a little bit better at it. As the trail keeps coming, we'll see. Um, tend to fall back into the pattern of how I know how to film and what goes on with that. But I want to get more because it's all hiking. It's not behind the scenes, but more the moments outside of when you're just physically walking. So, yeah, I wanted to show you that. And Hardy didn't get bit by a gator. No, these velcro strings are all over me. Though. Oh, he's the Caesar King. Sweet, we do get across the bridge. Do not fall in, that is pretty nasty. Beautiful, but nasty water to fall into. So through this section, the blazes aren't terrible, but they are sporadic. Um, so yeah, from the video when I showed you those two junctions, um, yeah, blazes aren't terrible like I said but they are sporadic so keep your eyes out um, just hit a good spot where I w didn't have to focus all my attention on finding the next blaze that I could film for you and it's a beautiful spot too that's nice you can tell they put in some work to this wildlife area um, 
Yeah, so I think there's sporadic or random camping around here. And as you can see, it is quite, 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 quite flat. Nice little hair in action for you. And also a nice little Florida Trail sign action for you. I wonder how the volume is on this thing. Hmm. I haven't thought, stopped to think about that. We get it, FT baby, FT. All different types of wide open plains out on the Florida Trail. You got your prairie prairies with just dry grass. You got your plain, plains with a little bit of palm trees. You got so many different types. Very cool. So shout out kickstand. Um, I know this is a little random. Whoops. Shout out kickstand, um, Mike. I was just listening to your podcast with uh, Aaron on hiking through, and um, <laughs> man, you went through a year, and it kind of sparked both my memory that, yeah, you were just starting the CDT, and we hiked together, and then you were coming back to it to finish up your triple uh, calendar year triple, and we saw you the last day in Glacier. That is kind of, I don't know, timing is a weird thing on trail. That was really, really cool, so... I thought I would give you a shout out because, uh, yeah, you, uh, you went through one uh, hell of a journey, my man, and you got it. So that was really cool, man. So huge props and hope you're doing well. Wow, this is a nice boardwalk. I don't know if I'm going to film you the entire thing because it looks like it goes on for a while. But if I see some cool water off to the side, I will pop the film back on. And I'm going to tie my shoe on this bench because my shoe is very much untied right now. All right. All right, so this is mile 262.5 seven on the Florida Trail maps and I believe if you turn down that road that's where the west um, west route around Orlando starts but if you continue this way you do the east route around Orlando so as you can see I am heading this way because our plan is to do oh as I almost step over this our plan is to do the west route. Well, I'm sorry, misspoke as I was climbing. Our plan is to do the east route. All right. All right, we found our lunch slash break spot. Um, we started getting rained on a little bit as, sorry, we started getting rained on a little bit um, as that storm was moving in. So we'll probably end up kicking it down here um, just so we don't get rained on. It's not too bad. Yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'm gonna wait here for Hardy, but it's kind of nasty. But you can still take a break. 
if you look at those rain clouds, you can see that what's moving overhead. So I'm gonna kick it here for a sec. Cool, cool. Yeah. All right, well, I tried, I forgot to while we were taking a break, but we just had a drying out party. Um, dried our tents out as much as possible with this shade, which is awesome. And give me one second. So we also called Keith. Um, he's the owner of Tracy Branch Campsite, which is mile 280-ish, about 15, 16 more miles, no, no bow of us. And it says to call ahead if you're planning on camping there. So we gave him a quick call and super friendly guy. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Definitely just go there and camp. I'm like, we're gonna be there today because I didn't know how long of a notice you needed to give him. But he was pretty cool with just giving him the notice of tonight, actually. And he's like, you know what? There's water there. Um, just let us know the bathrooms don't work. So there'll be some fresh water in there when we get there. And yeah, we're excited. Awesome guy, Keith. Thank you so much. That is really appreciated. It's like one of the only campsites within that bubble location. So it's a really well needed camp spot. So we're just packing up now and about to hit the trail right behind me in a second. Cool, cool. Open prairies. Whew, you gotta draw those words out when you're singing about prairies. Because it's so open, you could just keep on hitting that tone for, for a long time. <laughs> um, you see, uh, I'm looking at what I'm filming, and I know you see that tree line in the distance, but it's not actually a tree line. It's just that there's so many pine trees on this prairie that it makes it look like it's an actual tree line we're gonna hit. But all I see in the distance right now, there's no line. It's just prairie, <laughs> prairie, sporadic trees, dense foliage. We get it. So we got about two and a half miles until highway 441, which we have to walk for, eh, I don't know, two, three miles. But I wanted to show you, um, and have you seen in the past clips, it kind of transitions um, throughout here. Um, it's this broad open prairie, but the trail itself transitions bet between kind of open two track, back to single track, um, back to funky two track. It just transitions a lot. So keep your eyes peeled for the orange blazes. They're pretty well marked. The entire trail system is really well marked so far. So yeah. Cool section. So this is an excellent water source on the Florida Trail. Coming across the road, deep pockets. Um, you don't have to reach in the deep pockets. You can just grab this stuff. Looks clear, probably gets filtered by the sun a little bit, still filter it no matter what. The UV light throughout the hot Florida days probably hit it. Right now it's in the shade. But um, yeah, you don't have to reach into the swamp itself. You can just reach into the puddle. That was a good, good Florida source water. But um, I don't think I need any right now. I'll probably be kicking myself saying that later. <laughs> but I don't need any right now, so I'm gonna keep going. You know what? Screw it. I am going to switch out my water. I have some nasty, nasty water and I'm gonna switch it out for that. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. All right. All right, US 441 is that stand of trees right there where you see that tall tree. Um, but I'm just taking a break in the shade before I hit it to filter the water. And you know how I was talking about that water source being super good? That is what a super good water source looks like on Florida. Um, definitely tanning, but there's not a lot of floaties in it. So still gonna be nice filter there into there. Get about a leap for this road walk and got about eight miles to camp. So. Should start to get cruisy cruisy. It's been nice. Um, it really started getting hot these past two hours, but only two hours of heat today. Besides that, been overcast um, and super, super pleasant. So I've been talking more today, as you can see, because I have energy to talk and I'm not just pouring out sweat. So really pleasant day, really, really pleasant day. And I don't know if it's gonna work out, but I think I'm about to hop on a call once I hit the road um, with the cheetah. So super, super stoked about that. Um, and yeah, 
it's going to be, um, be a good rest of the day. Cool, cool? Peace. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, the bane of my existence. This fence line road. But I think the road is actually, it looks like it pops off to the right. Whew. <laughs> That's uh, Highway 441. We got about eh, three or four miles of walking. I actually hope on it because this stuff is just gnar. It has become my nemesis of the Florida Trail. <laughs> the bumpy, chewed through earth along a fence line. Oh, baby. Oh, the one moment that I thank for the road walk. You have to come over the stile and then you cut to the road. And it doesn't appear that busy either. Oh, yeah. Super good. Way better than that chewed up earth. Those fence lines. Oh, baby. All right. Well, I get it. All right. So just got off the road. Um, it's not that bad. Not that busy. But about to pop into trail. And if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they're all empty. Uh, not all of them. There's about a gallon or two. Um, welcome to Fair River, Florida. We already called them. Um, so, yeah, we're going to grab some water here maybe real quick. And thank you again to Keith. And I talked to Keith. I hadn't talked to Sergio. But thank you to both of them. You guys are awesome. And thank you a lot for the water source because that is very needed. Um, I might actually fill up two liters. Um, he said there was water at camp. Or he meant this one. I don't know which, but just to be safe, I might pound back some water and drink this or get a lead or two from here. Cool, cool. Thank you guys so much. Look at how old that sign is. Ooh, baby. Um, so got about, I don't know, four miles maybe until this is the Florida Trail marked footpath. So got about four miles until we hit that Tracy Park. Um, it kind of looks like it bounces a lot, so I'm going to have to stay on top of it, make sure you're going the right way, but about four miles. Let's get it. All right, so I thought I would touch on this while I'm thinking about it. Um, it was something I was going to want to touch on eventually on the Florida Trail, but I'll touch on it now. So let me flip you around, get you that good, good face view while I drop stuff. Um, so this is about the Florida Trail. So the Florida Trail, you have cell phone access almost all day, every day. Um, there's been some times we don't. Um, when I say access, it means cell service. So there are pros and cons to that. Um, giant pro that made me want to talk about this is, of course, um, I just got such a spurt of energy, just crushing miles right now, because I got to talk to the cheetah. Um, I love that. It's just that conversation, oh, just hearing the voice just threw me over the edge. Um, was pushing hard and just feels really nice. So that's a giant pro. Um, getting to, to talk to friends, partners, family. Um, yeah, it's very pleasant because Florida Trail, does have road walks and yeah, you can communicate with your loved ones on those road walks. But again, a uh, con, let me do this. Oh, I wonder how that's gonna be with the film. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna throw you upside down. This is why you watch all the great, the great uh, film technique, right? So um, the con being you have service. Um, you can very much use it wisely and just like anything in this world if you use it as a tool um and use it the way you want to use it and don't let it use you it's nice so like as i was saying talking to loved ones that's a benefit to the trail and that's an enjoyment to the trail and as i'm talking about this i might be losing the trail but um yeah you have cell service the entirety of the florida trail so far so Use it wisely, um, and it's preference. If you're looking for a through hike that way, great. 
that's great for you. That's uh, the way you want to do it. Um, it's not similar to a lot of the other trails where you're forced to cut off. You're going to have to make that conscious de decision yourself. Um, you're going to have to use that dedication and commitment to still feel the trail the way you want to feel it. And personally, as I've done trails, the access to the phone and the service, that's better set for town. Um, I worry about all the town chores and all the kind of odds and ends in town. So yeah, it's, um, it's a cost benefit. So use it accordingly. And that's my little spiel. But I wanted to talk on that because I got to talk to the cheetah and I'm just absolutely thrilled. Um, very, very pleasant conversation. Gave me so much energy that I'm going to be getting into camp early tonight. So that was a long ramble about the concept of service on a through hike. But again, it is preference. I said that a lot, but do what makes you happy. Do what makes you comfortable. Cool, cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, I hope that's just a playful sign. Really hope that's a playful sign. So mile 278.8 is a tricky junction. It's a very sharp left. Um, and the blazes won't point you in the direction until you get on the other side. So just keep your eyes up. Um, yeah, keep the eyes peeled. My only question becomes, how did you get that blaze? That looks like some deep, unforeseen water where you have no idea what's in it. Um, we should be getting close to about 0 0.4, 0 0.3 from um, Forever Florida, baby. Should be coming up here shortly. So keep the eyes peeled. All right, mile 281.1 or 0.2. Florida Trail continues that way. But if you want to go to Florida forever to camp, it is over here. Um, no bow, you would be taking a left at the junction. And you can see kind of picnic tables and some stuff along there. So that's where we're going. All right, we made it to forever Florida couple picnic tables there's a shelter I heard there were mice in the shelter so might just pitch under here possibly um, yeah this is forever Florida awesome oh I carried in water but Keith did leave some water thank you so much Keith um, don't know what that is probably bathrooms then flat spots Huge fire ring. Whew. Good day. You've probably seen my hand right now. Good, good day. Awesome. Gonna hang out, grab some agua, set up camp. Cool, cool. It's a sad day. It's the last of the dogs. Look at how greasy the hands are from reaching into the bag of cheese. Oh man, so yeah, that cheese doesn't last long. Um, that craft stuff really does not last long. Today's the second day. Um, so eating the rest of it, two dogs, one bun, sriracha in the middle. So don't worry, Janice, it's sriracha, not ketchup. I can't do ketchup either. And um, yeah, watching the sunset, eating some dogs. Waiting on the hardy man. It's going to be a good night. Good day. Cool, cool. Well, that's a fun start to a morning. Look at that. Oh, my God. These All these ants are somehow in the tent with me. Oh my sweet Jesus. Is there a hole? Dude, they're everywhere. I don't know how they got in. I don't know where they're coming in from. 
That's so many, though. Oh, my God. All right, well, I'm going to put my shit on and get the hell out of this tent. Wow. That's nuts. So that's, that wasn't the only goddamn pile. That's a pile, but that is a bigger pile. Sweet baby Jesus. Everywhere. Oh, I need to get the hell out of this tent. I'm invaded. I am invaded. Compromised. I'm compromised. Look at the little frog. So that was straight up ridiculous. Um, you can see Hardy packing up with that light over there. I'm packed the hell up. Um, Oh, I've never had that amount of ants in my tent in the morning. I've never had that amount of ants in my tent, period, actually. That was something. So last night, they let you stay. Like, thank you, Keith. Thank you, Sergio. Like, super nice that you let us stay here. Oh, and my pack falls down. What is this? The poles popped out? Come on. So, okay. Well, give me one second. I'm going to have to take stock of my life real quick. <laughs> okay back to it okay so what i was saying is thank you sergio thank you keith thank you so much for the water and letting us stay in kind of a campless spot on the florida trail but completely different scenario so not even touching how awesome those guys are but last night at forever florida was a hell of a night so for first Hardy and I get woken up at like 10 by hunters that just came here to shoot the shit and talk about their wife's bosses and shit like that. Um, so, and making crude jokes. And then Hardy almost got run over. So they finally leave. And then, I don't know, maybe around midnight, um, starts downpouring. And this might have been my mistake. I didn't put my rain fly on the tent. But I pop out to put it on. And it hits harder. By the time I have my rain fly on, it stops. So I got <laughs> drenched just for shits and gigs. Um, and then th three, the hunters came back by. They didn't stop this time, but they came back by on the road um, just to go hunt somewhere else. And then fourth and finally, the ants. The ants were everywhere. In every piece of my gear, um, I've had to shake out absolutely everything. I'm going to be finding them in my socks and stuff all day. I, I know for a fact. There were so many. So, yeah. Wow. That was a night. Oh, yeah, and Hardy saw a lion yesterday. I didn't see the lions, but Hardy said at least the lion didn't escape. That would have just... I mean, at that point, I would be asking for that lion to come take me. I mean, just come take me, lion. So, yeah. That was a, that was a night. So, good morning. Today is... Oh, it's not Friday the 13th, it's Saturday the 13th. <laughs> so, good morning. Whew. All right, I'm going to drink some coffee. And that's not, I haven't drank any coffee. That's just my nerves making all this excitement. So, I'm going to sit down. It's like 5 a.m., drink some coffee. Then we'll start hiking. <laughs> God. Nah, you're not going to be able to see it. Oh, I wish the camera could show a little bit better, but this water extends all the way down. You're not going to be able to see it because of the moisture in the air, which is blocking it out. But it is some dark, dark slew water in the morning, and you can hear active stuff in it. That's a little more sketchy than that swamp night hiking. Oh, buddy. All right. Up and over. Smoke on the water and moisture in the sky. <laughs> Every single morning, folks, it is quite moist. Moist, moist, moist. Feet are moist, sky is moist, body is moist. Mm -hmm. If I say that word a few more times, does it give it more meaning? <laughs> All right, let it go. 
Oh. We'll say it's the sun. I agree it's the sun because there's light popping off of it. That, I know that bumpy bump. Oh man. So if I was a hiker, I would avoid camping here pretty strongly. Um, I think this is Bull Camp. I forget what exactly it's called, but I would advise against it. I mean, there's flat spots, you can camp here, but it probably gets rowdy at night. Um, it's like a town onto itself, so. I mean, use your use your judgment, use your preference, but personally, I would avoid. Unless you're hiking with a gun. <laughs> Already said, unless you're hiking with a gun. <laughs> Still, I would avoid. <laughs> oh man. So there's an even an FT marker on our way out. So yeah, again, use your preference, but. It's really up to you. All right, so you road walk out of there for about half a mile. And that entire half of a mile, Hardy and I got into some good dark humor about that, uh, that shanty town. There's, uh, there's things happening over there. There's definitely things are happening. Whether you wanna be part of that happening, if you stay there, you might not have a choice. So plan accordingly again. So, you can see this first batch of birds circling, but watch this. If I zoom in, look at how many birds. Oh my god. That's nuts. Hardy said he didn't want to know what they're circling. It might, it might be best to be in the ignorant from here. There are quite a few. Nice little boardwalks. Very pleasant, thank you. Oh, and even a bench, look at you guys. That is too kind, too, too kind. I'm glad we don't have to wade that. Little deep, tad bit wet. You always think you're gonna make it out unscathed, don't you? And then you hit something near the end of the section. We're like a mile or two from the road. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, he's surviving. Oh. Fucking A. Whew. Dude, that, those are ankle breakers, look Which how Look how close my head came to the other knee. Dude, look at that. Oh, those are ankle oh, breakers. You, how'd you do that? Oh, I, shit. I started That's a spike near your face. I know. Did I land on one too with the pack? Oh. No, you're, you're good. I started stepping backwards and this caught me on the back of my oh. leg. <laughs> oh, man. There's Patrick. There's Patrick. Oh, it's going to be okay, buddy. I'm glad I didn't fling him into the water. Dude, that was a sprawl. Uh, yeah. yeah. You would, you would fall out. Oh, jeez. Well, cypress knees will take you out at the knees. Ow, shit. So I just ate it. Tried to film this sign and was stepping back. The cypress knee caught me at the back of the knee. And I fell right in this gap with my head right next to smacking into this. 
So watch out for those cypress knees because they will take you out at the knees. That, oh my God, that was gnarly. Whew. Thank you, Florida Trail, for not making us cross this. It looks deep. It looks quite deep. Oh man, the back of my leg is all messed up. Did you want to get a shot without me filming? So here, here's Jane Green Camp. Um, looks like there's a water spigot and a bench about to sit at. But seriously, watch out for those, uh, why do I want to call them Caesar knees now? They're not Caesar seeds. They're uh, Cypress knees. Watch out for them because wow, oh wow. Oh, that's nasty. Somebody. Had a party here. Um, yeah, definitely watch out for them. That was one of the hardest falls. My pack broke the fall, but one of the hardest falls in a long, 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 long time. All right, quick break, and we got our long road walk ahead of us. So we're keeping our hopes high that those aren't rain clouds. We're saying there's no way. It can't be rain clouds. Sign it, sheet under. Yeah, there's a log book, so we're gonna sign real quick. And then we cut right onto US 441 and start the road walk. Cool, cool. What time is it, Hardy? What time did you say it was? It's time! <laughs> what time? For the great Florida road walk. <laughs> We've been waiting. We've been waiting. Too much trail. Oh, man. We got spoiled with about 20 miles of trail. Too much trail, not enough pavement. <laughs> They've been waiting for us. It's good to be back. Good to be back. Got some clouds coming. Even the cows be running. They're like, it's starting to rain. We get it, we get, get, getting it. Oh yeah, it's starting to rain good now, folks. It's starting to rain good now. Whew. Oh yeah. That's that good, good. <laughs> what can you do? Come on, Florida, that ain't rain. Show me rain. Well, we haven't done laundry in like seven or eight days. I know. Yeah, we haven't done laundry in seven days. Yeah, seven or eight days. I'm um, gonna be about 10 days by the time we get to town, so. All right, Florida, throw it at me. Throw it at me. All right, we got off that main road and got out of those pockets of storms. But if you look behind us again, it looks like we got some more pockets coming out our way. So that way's a little light. We might be in the eye right now because this way is super dark. So we just turned off that busy road. And I think this road is just a straight shot for Miles. All right. So, this is the LDNS church um, on Gut Hook at mile like 299 and some change. And they don't want you to hang out there, but we're gonna run underneath this gazebo right now just for a tiny bit because I'm about to show you what's going on. 
it is like a night sky it is quite dark so we're gonna just pop, pop there real quick um take a quick break and then keep on moving because they don't want you to hang out here and we're not gonna do that all right so we're waiting it out as you can see we got here right before that really started hitting and um whoo, yeah it's pockets of good rain so oh yeah there's that wind too um i also wanted to say shooting the rain like a shower it just makes more oil that's how dirty we are like it seeps into the clothes and makes a lot of oil i gotta stop talking because that wind's really picking up <laughs> oh man All right, so we're back to walking. Um, the church is about there where that sign was, where that tower is. Um, didn't overstay our welcome. We waited. It was kind of uncomfortable because there's no like time frame that it says, but it kind of says, don't linger. If you want to rest, rest, but don't linger. So we even pushed it a little bit, maybe 15, 20 minutes and not because we wanted to but it was absolutely downpouring um so we waited for the first pocket and as soon as we were able to get out we got out um it's gonna rain on us anyway so yeah we got this road walk um about 15 16 miles till we can find a stealth spot for the night that'll get us our above a 30 mile day to and yeah um the homes right across from the church i think is the housing for the church members so they're gonna see you if you're there um and i think they were pretty nice because they probably saw us and saw the buckets of water coming down but nobody ever came up to us or said get out anything like that but again the maps say it's not hiker friendly so don't linger um if you want to take a quick break as of now, it says you can take a quick break. I don't know if that's gonna change or anything like that. But yeah, it was nice to get out of the rain in that pavilion for a little bit because we're gonna be probably getting a little rained on all throughout the day. So we got this road in front of us. Will they get it? Uh-huh, you seen what I'm seeing? Many, many vaches. One manvage? It's the same manvage to say multiple man vages and baby vages. Cute little vages. So many vages. I know, I'm just as excited as you, as far as the eye can see. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, a little couple kids playing. Oh, she's just a baby horse. Oh, trot, 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 trot. You're about to get a car in the middle of the camera shot, so one sec. There you go. Baby! Baby's just on the side of its mommy. Uh-huh, I see you. I didn't know you milked a horse. Well, you don't milk a horse, but like all mammals, horses are sexy. You're telling me we can have horse milk? Well, yeah. How do we go about getting ourselves some horse milk? Time to start filming. <laughs> oh, that's so I was weird. Lying. 
He was hauling ass. <laughs> oh man, so see if we went tops yeah, <laughs> those boys with radars, guns in those bushes. <laughs> nope. See ya. See ya. <laughs> so I was just telling Hardy, I'm like, man, um, I had to pop out the footage because I'm like, I promised I'm trying to get more shots like this. Um, I get all the hiking shots, but you gotta take breaks in the shade sometimes. So. As soon as I popped out the camera, you're going to be able to see it. Some guy just stops on the road, <laughs> and he's just, like, chilling. And we're like, what's going on? That just hauls ass down. So, time is weird, man. <laughs> but we're just kicking it underneath this uh, palmetto. Well, not palmetto. Um, oak? I can't see behind me. I think it's oak. Yeah. Yeah, it's an oak tree. So, to get shade, but we no longer need shade because, <laughs> as you can see, that storm system is coming in at us. We about to get hit by the heavy, the heavy drops, those pop, pop drops. So we got about 12 miles left, a little bit under the camp and quick break underneath uh, the shade, which is everywhere now. Um, yeah, that's about it. We're gonna go drag race a car if we can. Cool, cool, peace. All right, one more at the spot. So that's not missed. That, I wish this video could actually pick up and do it justice. You see how it's just one color? It's just a wall of water. Like, just a wall of water. And we're, we're sitting right on the line of this. We're gonna get hit. The amount of rodeos that Hardy and I could have been going to along the Florida Trail. The Great Florida Trail, the Great Florida Road Walk will give you some road walks, but it will also give you the opportunity to wrangle yourself a cow. Oh yeah, see they're looking at Hardy now. They're saying, come on now boy, hop on, hop on that back. <laughs> yeah, when you're on the road too long, you get weird as hell, huh? Eh, maybe when you're on the trail too long. Eh, maybe you just start off weird. We're going to leave those questions for better minds. But just uh, stopped raining again. Just pockets, pockets, pockets. So in the wind shirt, um, still a little bit tit, tit bit nipply, but yeah, we'll see. I think it's just gonna be pockets all day. You gonna go get one, Hardy? Yeah. Yeah, like that. <laughs> That's the one. I see him, I see him. So Hardy and I are going to camp. There we go. Um, youth camp. We're going to youth camp. Well, it says and family camp, trail family. So this is actually the, I was reading the description. It's actually one of the biggest um, camps in the Southeast for, I don't know if it's specifically for Mormon Boy Scouts or Boy Scouts in general, but, oh, and it's for Mormon Boy Scouts, but that's pretty cool. But one of the biggest ones. Look at that sky though, oh baby. All right, for some reason I keep getting locked out of my phone. So a little bit of GoPro footage on the road walk. I'm glad this actually still works. I haven't filmed with the GoPro in a little bit. Um, geez, what's my password? It's muscle memory and for some reason I think the moisture is throwing off what I'm typing in. Eh, because every time I've tried to get a video, pop, popped on out, so, all right. We're gonna continue down and they get it. All right. <laughs> I thought I would get you the straight shot video. Also, I remembered my password to be able to film with this. So, good job. Because I was getting uh, close to the lockout for half an hour. <laughs> uh, no worries, though. Clear skies, cruisy, cruisy. Whoo, baby. Straight shooting. Can't even see the end of it. Ah, uh, kinda, you kinda can. There's that one little tree right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, just smooth sailing, folks. Look at it. Wow, those cows are hauling. Why are y'all running away? To, 
That was cool. So I can see him, but when the camera is zoomed out, y'all can't really see him that well. Whew, if you're hearing the voice, it's gotten hot, it's gotten toasty, getting turd, a little bit turd. But we still got miles to go, about eh, four and a half ish. There they all are. Oh, they started turning away again. They were coming towards the fence. All right, guys, well, you go on now. We'll keep going on our way. You all have a good night. All right, turning on Nova Road. Long, long road walk. Um, there's empty gallons back there by that palm. By that palm right there as you come off that road, Nobo. It looks like there was a water cache at some point. Um, she empty, so we got about three miles and some change until camp, and we'll be able to figure it out. So, whoops, the car's coming. I'm actually reading here. Let me get a better view. So I'm actually road walking right now. I just was talking about the pros and cons of service. I'm actually road walking right now and reading um, the Valentine's art Day article about Magpie and I um, in Outside Magazine. So I don't know if I had said anything about it, but we did. We did an interview. We did an interview with Outside and um, he wanted to do a Valentine's Day themed article. So it was about people that met on trail and um, yeah, that's about us. So <laughs> didn't use a lot of my words, it seems. Um, used a lot of magpies phrases and words. So I got nothing to say about that. <laughs> Uh, he might have used the right judgment. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I think it's a good article, though. So um, that's pretty cool. So get to read that. Valentine's Day is tomorrow, and um, super happy. All right, love you, Cheetah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, one sec. So this is Cox Creek. Um, as you can see, Hardy's going under. I'm not going to be able to get that view. He's going underneath the bridge to grab some agua. Uh, and he got, he got eight. So, um, yeah, if you're planning on stealthing, um, this is kind of the good water for the stealth sites that are in a mile, two miles, three miles. We're going to try to get about three in from here. So yeah, grab some agua. So it's about 545. And this road just got ridiculously busy. One sec. All right, that's just the regular film. Um, got ridiculously busy. Not like super, super busy, but the cars that are coming at you, they don't move into the other lane. So um, can't expect to have the right of way on roads, but a lot of the Florida drivers so far have been friendly. Not so much here. But we got about a mile to camp and we're gonna keep on pushing. All right. Well, as Hardy was just saying, we made camp, got our 30 in, and whew, it was a lot of road walking. Um, so this is the best stealth we found along the road yet. Um, yeah, just look in the map systems. You're gonna have to stealth on this road if your miles link up. And we got in right as it was getting dark, so perfect timing. Those clouds look a little vicious, so I had to put the rain fly on. I'm not a fan of camping with the rain fly, um, and so I'm not a giant orange bubble. So yeah, we made it, and we are getting close to the end of what I perceive to be the longest section in Florida, um, on the Florida Trail. It's gonna be like 250 miles since we've gotten a shower or laundry, so it's about time. Your boy stinks really bad. Oh man, those clouds are lighting up. All right, so yeah, we're gonna grub down, chillax, and keep on cruising them all. Kill, kill. Peace. Good day 13, I believe. Well, folks, happy Valentine's Day. It smells so bad in this tent. It's wet, it's nasty. It's that Valentine's Day funk. But um, as you can see, Well, folks, happy Valentine's Day. It's terrible 
smelling in this tent. It's wet, it's moldy. Maybe not moldy, maybe I'm just moldy. moldy oh, it probably is moldy in my tent. So it is just gnar as hell. Um, everything's dry bagged up, as you can tell. I've got a couple puddles of water. If you listen to that, it's starting to lighten up, but last night was just ferocious storms. As you can see, my tent wall collapsed. Pulled the stake out of the ground. I couldn't find it last night. Um, our sleep is getting kind of messed with a little bit on this Florida trail. Jesus. Never a full night's sleep out here. So, yeah, it's about 5.45. Um, been awake for 20, 30 minutes. Ready to start packing up, but just waiting for this one bubble, hopefully, to pass because it's getting lighter, but these bubbles are thick, thick rain. Um, last night was ferocious. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I'm going to see if this will pass and then pack on up and accept the reality that we'll be, we'll be walking through a lot of rain for Valentine's Day. It just captures my heart fully. It just makes my heart so happy. So, yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Um, I actually got to wish the cheetah happy Valentine's Day at like 3 o'clock because I was awake because this. So, um, yeah, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day, Cheetah. Love you. And, oh, yeah, it's just wet. Whew. Florida, you just grabbed my heart so much. All right. <laughs> you didn't hear what Hardy said, but he said to all the single people out there, just imagine... How much worse your Valentine's Day could be. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Come on down come on down to Florida, hike in the hike in the pouring rain. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright guys, we're gonna try to wait this out just a tiny bit and get to stepping. Happy V Day. Yeah, hey, that doesn't look half bad. Alright, I thought I'd grab some film before it gets uh Narnar again. Um, that little haze you see, it's dark out, but it's also, it's phones in a plastic bag. That's really dark right there. Um, as you can see, Hardy Man, stepping them out, got the rain jacket on, <clears throat> and yeah, it's, I don't know, close to seven now. Been walking for close to an hour, and wow, a lot of the sky around us, not so much sky, more cloud, but we're about to get ham sauced again. So thought I could grab some before that happens. Before the party begins. What kind of party? It's a, it's not a postal party. It's a rain party. It's a party in Florida, a Florida party. Crazy, crazy Florida party. All right, let's get it. Yay, we finally got off one road and onto a busier road. Yay, off of that road and onto State Road 520. There you go, we get it. While it's raining, we'll stop and get some gator jerky. Nothing like some gator jerky. Oh, here come the storms. City of Cocoa, Florida. Um, I'm pretty sure it is somewhere around here. But we are just walking the road, so <laughs> we have no idea where the city actually is. That might be the, that's a plant, that's not a city. Um, so yeah, there you go. Oh, it's hard to film, walk, and talk. But what I was trying to film is there's a rainbow. All right, well, it's raining on me. My, the words sound weird because I'm talking while chewing a plastic bag that I keep the phone in. So... I'm going to put the phone back in the plastic bag that's in my mouth and keep on cruising.
I think that's the most complete rainbow I have ever seen. I see where it starts and I almost can see where it ends. So Jay, if you're watching, we're gonna find those leprechauns. I know you're on the lookout just as much as I am. It ends right over there. I could pop in and say what's up to a leprechaun real quick. Seriously, that is so awesome. I can see where the rainbow starts on the ground. And if I'm not mistaken, there's a start of a double rainbow right there. You can see a couple colors to the right of that. But that's where the leprechaun is, somewhere back in there. So Jay, if we're gonna go find it, we better start looking right now, huh? Nah, I'm keeping my heart set on those bouncing leprechauns. I can't keep getting enough of this. It's just, it's one of the most uniform rainbows I've ever seen. The completeness of it, and I can see the end-to-endness of it too. I don't think I've ever been able to see that before. That's really, really cool. So, on a wet, wet road walk, awesome stuff. That's gonna be a terrible view of my face for y'all. But, <laughs> that's what y'all get. All right. Hardy made a good point. They put the generator up on the crane so nobody takes it. Oh man. So we're about to cross underneath 528, and um, I think we take a right on Yates Road. So whew, this has been a been a good sized road walk, folks. Um, yeah, the east side. So far, it's been a lot of road. I think east and west, you're gonna have a lot of road on both sides. So yeah, I don't know. Plan a, plan accordingly, as I always say. Um, if you want to do the east route beautiful you got some road west route i've heard it's more road e and when i say roadie i don't know exactly what that means besides the fact that um some other experienced hikers that have done other trails before said the west route's really not all that um um they they said they wish they would have done the east route so i don't know personal preference Luck of the draw, ace of spades, I don't know. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and I'm ready to turn off of this bigger highway. All right. So we're getting close to the end of the road. We got about a mile maybe left on Yates, and then we finally get it cut into, I mean, that looks pretty go goddamn wet to me. Oh, with all the rain, it's gonna be so wet. It's gonna be road to swamp. <laughs> That's what this trail's been a lot of. So, yeah, we're at, or at least off a busy road, but most li more likely than not, we're about to go swimming in a swamp as soon as we get off of this. All right, here we go. So this is the second couch or cushion, or like, it looks like a love seat that we've seen in about, I don't know, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 miles since we turned on this road. So it's either the FTA saying, hey, take a break right here, or I don't think it's that pleasant of a situation. It might be a rougher situation. People just chucking couches everywhere. So yeah, if you look at that, um, that's where we're gonna be turning into. It says in a regular day, expect to wade wade through for the first quarter mile at least so today might be a little bit more we will see we will see but it looks looks a little wet look how much the jungle has overtaken this house wow i got some upkeep to do so there's a nice water cache about 0.2 before the fence line that you cut over with um, going no bow so yeah if you want to grab some agua there's about one or two gallons left maybe one and a half once we both grab a leet real quick so yeah really nice after this long dry road walk cool cool all right so we're following the orange blazes it looks like it follows the kind of barbed wire fence again and we called the number at the management area nobody picked up but we just left a quick message letting them know 
that we were traveling on through. Um, I don't know if they necessarily would have needed it. It's only open from Monday to Friday, but want to do the right thing. So we just called, let them know that we were heading through right now. And yeah, we got some uh, town food on our mind. Christmas. We're going to be hitting Christmas on Valentine's Day. Let's get it. Wait in the water, Hardy, wait in the water. Hardy's gonna trouble the water. Just a baby wade. Oh, oh, she, she, she got deeper. She got, oh, oh, she got way deeper. That's a little something, huh? <laughs> I wasn't prepped for how much deeper it got real quick. Thank you, Trail. So I told Hardy, because he's going no shirt, no problem, and it's Valentine's Day, I told him the swamp ladies are going to come for him. Those nip-nops be popping, and yeah, they're going to be coming for Hardy, and he, he doesn't seem to be scared, but swamp ladies are beautiful creatures, or so we've been told, but they are like the sirens, so we let's all wish them luck together. You have any last words before you get su swayed into the swamp lady's call? You weren't saying they were beautiful earlier. <laughs> they think they're beautiful. Uh, okay. We don't know because nobody's ever lived to tell the tale. Then how do you know about them? So it's, it's all your imagination. But I'm assuming with the terminology swamp ladies, the beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder. Hmm. Sounds like you have some inside information on swamp ladies. That no one else has been privy to. <laughs> well, let's just say I may or may not have known a few swamp ladies in my time. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so they do uh, leave survivors. There's, well, a broken survivor. <laughs> you, you don't survive it sane, I'll tell you that. Uh, that well, yes, if you're any inclination, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you get, you get quite broken by the end of it. Ah. But, well, we shall see what happens. Yeah, Hardy's ready for those swamp lady calls. Oh, buddy. Ready for that town hot food? Yeah, I'm ready for that town hot food, too. Good job spelling through. I like that. That's how you spell through hike, and that's how you spell through. Let's get it. Through trail. Now we got white and orange blazes to follow. Don't drop stuff in the swamp. Got the grips? Yeah, you're not, on this one. not today, Swamp. Oh wow, yeah, that's nice. That's some good tread. do a follow-up to Hardy's video. We got out of Tusahatchee. Um, we got hot food on our mind in the town of Christmas. This road has all types of critters. There's cats and ducks. Oh, you're not going to do the, the wild way? The wild way? No, I'm not falling in. I got too much stuff on my mind. Look how many critters this road has. Oh my god, it has ducks, three cats. Yeah, this is a kind of small Florida town. So yeah, we're gonna go grab some grub at one of these corner stores. I'm about to call that number that says, please notify the office when you leave. So I go get it. These ducks just don't care in the slightest. They just don't care. Oh, this is so cool. 
Oh my god. All right, now I gotta call the management area before I keep getting distracted with stuff. All right. All right, to get to the goodies, you gotta earn it. The trail pops out right there, but you gotta walk 0.6 or 0.7 to get to the goods. Earn it. Get it, get it. Mm-hmm. We almost got in right around one, which is perfect timing. And I just lost my straw and I am very disappointed about that. But we're getting there. Let go. Town of Christmas. Alright, so we got to Christmas Park where there's a nice little corner store and kind of resupplied for we have tonight a few more miles and tomorrow we have a 30-ish and then we're in town so a night and a full day tomorrow we both could have made it on food but stocked up and got a little nice uh spoiling ourselves with some footlong subs now we're walking up to christmas grocery where I think they have better hot food for maybe a snack. And apparently there was a hiker up there when we had passed. Don't know who it was. Looked like a woman hanging out with a Z-Light and an Osprey pack. I'm assuming going Nobo, so... I don't know who would have been within striking distance of us. But we're going to go see if we can find out. If not, if we don't find out, we'll get some gr grub. Good stop. Definitely pop on by. They got... Everything a hiker needs at that corner store. Um, hot food, subs, Gatorades, <laughs> uh, resupply. You don't even have to be picky. They got good stuff there. So definitely pop off trail for about half a mile and get yourself some good eats. All right, so stopped at Christmas Grocery. Hardy got a pizza that looked bomb. It was good. Um, but if you see this hiker, she's actually walking away right, right now. This hiker right here, that is Prove, Prov, and she has done some crazy adventures. Um, she's done a lot of the Potomac, she's done a lot of different trail systems, and she's actually, what's she doing the rest of this year? Going to the Arizona Trail or something? But she's done a lot, a lot of stuff, a lot of bike routes, just a lot of cool stuff. So we, um, stopped and chatted with her for about i don't know hour hour and a half and she actually lives up in minnesota near the nct so she's gonna help out magpie and i with um some planning as well as help out me with some planning for the potomac which is awesome so she's just an awesome lady she's really really cool badass hiker badass journeyer um so it was cool to catch up with another hiker and we're going back to trail so let's go get it. Prov, if you see this, you're a badass. You've done some amazing things. Kill, kill. There were no techniques, Hardy. Your low plant was fake. <laughs> fake. No techniques. It's all conspiracy. Oh my God. No techniques. Nice little shelter. Fish pond camp. Our trail continues yonder. That is a nice sign. It's black. I want to say a rat snake, but it has stripes. Yeah, I'm wary of black snakes in Florida, but... It might not actually be a rat snake. It's too stripy to be a rat snake. If anybody knows what type of snake that is, holler. To the right? Yep, to the right. At Hunt Check Station, and we're going... Oh, look at that. Still sexy. Um, he's still going for the Swamp Woman. And we're going this way. Orange blaze. Nice little forested area. Yeah, this foliage is pretty sick. It's just nice to be covered. And not to have black top underneath the feet. This is the Florida Trail. <laughs> Read it. Read it. 
Um, apparently don't filter this water. I think this is the water that is super nasty. And as I'm saying that, I think Hardy's actually filling up his bottle down there. Uh, poor son of a, son of a gun. Poor guy. I don't think you're supposed to drink this. I think this is the sewer runoff water. I think this is the sewer runoff water, Hardy. It's not attached to anything. It says this is where the flow is from. All right, so this is the sewer water. If there's bit two big culverts, don't drink this stuff. It looks clear. Um, I don't know what it smells like, but can't smell anything right now. You can't smell anything. It looks like the clear. There's some big fish in there. Right in there. Look, look at yeah. the look at the bank. Dang, yeah, you're right. Those are some big size. Oh, where'd they go? There they are. Yeah, so don't drink this water. Um, it looks like the clearest water we've seen on all trail, but. Yeah, this looks nice. This <laughs> looks like, you'd be tempted to go for a dip in it. A even. plus sewer water. Don't drink this. So we're about two miles from Fern campsite. Maybe a little, yep, that's wet. Maybe a little less, maybe a mile and a half. But you don't have to fill up water at the very beginning if you're walking in. Um, there was a comment that Christmas Creek is the closest. Um, but there's a lot of water, as you can see, um, on the way there. So. This is about the same water you're gonna get anywhere else on the Florida Trail, so yeah, you got good water options before camp. And that was a slow way of saying that because I keep trying to pick my best footfall so I don't fall. All right, I'm gonna get back to it. Keep on plugging. Oh, that was deep. Whew, okay. So this is Fern Camp. Um, got a little table, some flat areas. Um, we might push on because it says it's permitted. We talked to a Sobo today, that woman I was telling you about. She tried calling that number, but they didn't give her a permit or they, they said something funky. So we're gonna figure it out. Gonna take a break for Hardy, wait for him to catch up and see where this day takes us. Cool, cool. So. We are at a Christmas Crick. And as you can see, Hardy's about to dip his bottle into that dark Christmas Crick. Um, you can see the bottom? Oh, wow. So. When your headlight works, your headlamp works. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get new batteries for the headlamp. Just a little bit of Christmas water in the morning. So, morning, morning, folks. February 15th. We're gonna be hiking no northbound. Southbound? Northbound. Southbound? We might go southbound. Nope, we're going northbound. So that's what we had been smelling for a while. Um, we were getting close to a burn zone. I think it's prescribed burn. I am not positive though. I'm almost certain the rest of this wildlife area is very flourishing. So I'm assuming it was a prescribed burn. Can you spot the morning cow? It's just a baby morning cow. Oh, it actually does have a baby. 
Let me try to get you a good angle. Mama cow's looking at me and Hardy like, what you doing? My baby trying to feed. We get it, we just stepping, we stepping. Mama cow. Aw, hey cuteness. Your baby looks a little rugged. Um, but you're gonna get them all big and strong. Good job, morning cow. How now, brown cow? That's that good, good agua, folks. That's that good, good. Um, I don't know if I've done a shot like this yet this morning. Um, I know you guys have been missing my ugly mug. If you haven't noticed, I think more of my shots are trail with me talking because if you also haven't noticed, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you do notice and don't notice, but if you also haven't noticed, I'm trying to purposely shoot with the iPhone. Um, I got the new iPhone and one of our buddies, Cy, shout out Cy, um, said this quality footage is actually better than the current GoPro I was using. And the GoPro I've been using is also on the Fritz. Um, it's stabilization gets a little wacky from time to time and then sometimes it shoots some weird coloring. So yeah, I've been trying to transition almost purely to shooting with the iPhone. So what I'm gonna start doing and I've noticed is when we've been getting poured on, it's hard to shoot with this, but I'm gonna still carry the GoPro and use that as my bad weather camera um, because it's just in a hip pocket and it's super easy to carry. So I'm gonna, I think from River Ranch, up until when we Nero into town tomorrow, I shot with 99% with the phone. So I'm gonna start doing that. It's hard um, to do the switcheroo like this. So you see how I can switch forward and then switch. And that would have been going the wrong way. <laughs> so if you can see how I switch forward, and then switch back, you have to hold it a certain way. So if I grab it out and I'm filming and I don't have it situated in my hand a certain way, to do that switch is super tough. And I guarantee you see some of those shots when I'm trying to do it. Um, so yeah, I'm just learning to shoot with a different camera pretty much. Um, the GoPro has treated me well for five plus years. Love the convenience, love the easiness of it. Um, but as I've been editing footage more and more and wanting to make a more cohesive story and um, better shots and stuff like that. The GoPro is great for what it was for, um, telling the story as it grew. But for quality footage, um, it has a little left to be desired. So yeah, that's kind of a long ramble to what I originally started this footage to say, point out a water source, but I wanted to let you all know um, in case you guys did see kind of that discrepancy of, hey, he's doing a lot of trail shots and not a lot of the big old face shots. <laughs> I still try to put them in, um, but like I said, it's harder to do that transition with the iPhone than it is with the GoPro. The GoPro is a quick swivel. I'm going to get better at this, as you can see with this little clip right here, too. I've gotten better with it um, just in the past few days, so... Yeah, just different styles, different camera for different things and looking for just a different type of vibe. And as I talked and walked, I caught up to the hardy man. He's not as sexy this morning. He doesn't have his shirt off. He was looking for those swamp ladies yesterday. All right, that's kind of the end of my- sh Constantine is the one who found the swamp lady. Oh, you're putting that on the footage, huh? I did not find no swamp lady. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, you trying to, uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh Lies, lies, cheetah, lies. He's he's throwing it, throwing me under the bus here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep going.
All right, so it looks like we're joining some type of road. Um, when I say road, this is what we're joining. So not road, not not the roads we've known, come to know and love on the Florida Trail. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, looks like a two track um, water trail. This is just water trail. So this is pretty pleasant still. And yeah, really good, good start to the morning. Um, and purely trail, which is so sweet. Oh, they're slippery. really unique area um last clip i did a zoom in of all these little pods they look like little i don't know like small moss pods um so yeah if you know what these are holler at me they're pretty cool all right so that was a really cool wilderness area that was um by far one of the most pleasant ones Without, eh, it had swamps, but not too bad of swamps. Cruisy trails. Yeah, it was cruisy trails. It's the Chaluda Wilderness. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of it. Florida Trail, that's what we did up to here. But there's a lot of it that you can play around in. So that was a really cool part of the trail. Um, and now we got a little bit of pavement pounding. Is that a cow or a buffalo? Only buffaloes are at River Ranch. I got to remind myself of that. All right, that way. All right, time to start our road walk. But from Florida Trail standards, it's just a baby road walk. It's about eh, two and a half, three miles yonder. So nothing new. Then we got about 10 miles of trail. And then pretty much after that, we're in the suburbia of Orlando. So we will start stepping through some bike paths. But these last 10 miles there actually look pretty sick after this road. So we get it. <laughs> Caution, horses be crossing here. I like that sign. That sign makes you think, doesn't it? At some certain, see, I didn't do the technique right. I'm gonna just have to do it this way, yep. Here you go, that's better. At some certain point, the trail becomes blurred. So are we riding the trail or is the trail riding us? Like that sign, there's a rider on the horse and if you extrapolate that metaphor and make the horse the trail and the rider you, it goes back and forth. <laughs> sometimes you're gonna be riding the trail, sometimes the trail's gonna be riding you. Um, and in the Florida trail, that also means swimming. So there's a lot of different metaphors you can take from that. All right, I'm gonna get back to some road walking. <laughs> Leave you with those thoughts. There's some absolutely beautiful properties along this road walk um huge ranch style homes with huge swaths of land and the beauty's in the oldness of it like this one to the right it has that more new feel so that's beautiful as well but some of these ones it just feels like it has that age and it's just i don't know when you do this road walk or if you see this road walk or i don't know you got to check it out for yourself. There's some absolutely beautiful properties along here. So, so as we were talking about the beautiful homes along the property, let me get a zoom in on that bag, Hardy. Uh, have gone now. He's been chew chowing on some tomatoes. Um, one of these farmers that owns a ranch home right back there. I don't think he's a farmer. Oh, well, owns a ranch home. Um, popped out to say hi and then offered us a bunch of tomatoes and he's like oh they'll keep for days so i i'm like wait 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 how many tomatoes are you trying to give us here so uh we kind of made sure that it wasn't just pounds of tomatoes because i had a feeling he was going to come out with quite a few but a yeah 
but super cool guy. Oh, this video again. Super cool guy. And um, while we're standing out there, the neighbor came out that had just moved in. So we uh, were part of a neighborhood meetup, <laughs> which, which was fun. Um, they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to have to come over and say hi one of these times. And it's like, okay, now's our time to leave. <laughs> Let's go. The neighbors are meeting. Um, it's time for us to go. So, yeah, like I said, really cool road walk. I've gotten more film in this last mile of road walk than sometimes I film on 20 miles of road walk. So you can tell it's a good road walk. Back to trail. Sweet. Um. Florida National Scenic Trail land behind this sign. Very cool. So, yeah, we got about 10 more miles of this trail. Again, that road walk was super sick. Um, we got 10 miles of this. Then we got mostly suburb walking. And Hardy's about a pee, so I'll get that on film for y'all. I know you guys are asking. Oh, I hope you guys even heard any of this. Oh, whatever. That is a nice, nice camp spot. And there was a creek, point one before it. Not Christmas Crick. That's all the Crick I can think about today. But, um, yeah. You're, uh, oh, Shades almost got lost. So, if y'all watch Hardy's channel, um, may or may not have just stepped in it a little bit. Tend not to, when I start to ramble, tend to get lost in the rambles and get lost in the jokes. Ooh, buddy, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt when it comes out. So head on over to Hardy's channel and... I'll be releasing the full version on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. For my top tier members, they will get top full access to Constantine stock and unabridged uh, words. <laughs> top tier only. <laughs> I don't even know if Hardy does have a Patreon. I don't think he does. I don't think he does. I think that's part of the joke. But he is coming out with some good videos um, on his YouTube channel. So, so that's where the worrisome stuff is going to come out. He got like a four-minute clip of... Yeah, I, I don't even know how to describe it. So, Well, I was talking about the nice trail. And then uh, Constantine had to, you know, dip his foot in some shit. <laughs> that's how you describe it. Yeah. <laughs> It's not like a face plant. You didn't reveal all your thoughts. Oh, but no, that was that was definitely all the thoughts. That was definitely all the thoughts. See, I gotta stop filming. Okay, it's if you want to watch it, go over there. It's yeah, that's that's about it. All right, it was all the thoughts, every every single one. How are you supposed to get through? Squeeze. <laughs> Get skinnier, Hardy. Get skinnier. You gotta squeeze, buddy. <laughs> You're close. Oh, man. Uh -uh. You gotta suck in that gut. Yeah, it's ultra lighters only. You gotta suck in that gut. There's no gut, Uh huh, uh huh. That's what I always say. Well, it's just extra padding. Well, it's true for you. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. no, that's not a snapping turtle, this is a tortoise. Dude, that's definitely a snapping turtle. You can no, see it. Oh, it's he went turtle. He went farther away. Yeah. But it's not a it's not a turtle of any kind. It's a tortoise. But dude, you can see its face. Yeah. It had not... the jaws of a snapping turtle. No, no, those are tortoise jaws. It must be a huge den underneath there. Yeah, tortoises are the ones that bury or dig uh <sighs> All right, so we actually climbed a steep mountain to get to where we were just at. Like that elevation change was super gnar. Whew. But I joke, God, I know that view is gonna suck. 
and that view is not going to be much better. All right, I joke, but we're actually getting baby elevation changes in the trail, which is very nice. The elevation changes that we've had to deal with lately or the entire time was just swamp elevation changes, has, having to pull your feet out of the mud to get higher. But we're even going downhill right now. What? Oh, look at that elevation. It feels nice, folks. It feels nice. Huge mountains, giant mountains, massive mountains. They're everywhere. That's red next to, that's red next to yellow. That is red next to yellow, Hardy. That's not the friendly one. Uh, no, it's red touches. Red touches black, my friend Jack. Red next to yellow, kill a fellow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go touch it. Pet him. We're going to be snake wrangling today, folks. Hardy's about to go in, give it a quick pet. It's a good size one too. Mm -hmm. Don't eat those berries. Not in the PNW. Not all berries here are nice. Well, not all berries in the PNW are nice. But these ones are not nice. Now that's a nice new piece of wood, folks. That is a very pretty 4x4. Mm-hmm. Good job, FT. Good job. You purdy. Um, so yeah, still on cruising. Um, we haven't even hit this river section yet that I'm really stoked about. But again, I didn't do it right so the transition is going to suck but here you go again really really stoked for um, that river section about three four miles but already today's building up to be one of my favorite days on trail um, that wilderness section this morning so pleasant the connector road in between very pleasant and then this section right now also extremely pleasant so today it's working out to be pretty, pretty awesome. Super stoked. First time the feet got wet on this trail for a little bit. They do a really good job of boardwalks, but this is what I wanted to show you. This type of foliage right here. It's really vibrantly green. Really feels like a jungle. Beautiful. Some type of wind moved through here to uproot those big boys. Whew. Sorry guys, can't stop filming, but just look at this. This is like straight jungle. Oh man, it's awesome. Trail came from this way and it continues. Not that way, that would be a schwack attack. This way, but super, super beautiful. Oh no, this looks like it's going to be something. Whew. The trail was nice, but okay, it's not too bad. It is not too bad. It worried me when I always thought it was mud. At least it's not that fence line stuff. Oh, the bane, bane of my existence. But this is nice. All right, cruisy, cruisy.
Little flashbacky from the IAT. <laughs> they had a lot of stuff like this in the different counties. Oh man. Remember that metaphor from earlier in the day? Do we ride the trail or does the trail ride us? Well, all right. Come on, Nessie. Come on, Nessie. I'm going to have to dismount now. Take it nice and easy. Whoa, Nessie. Easy now. Easy now. <laughs> uh, how you entertain yourself on the trail. Nessie and Bessie. I got to find Bessie. I don't know where Bessie is. The cows are somewhere. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, you don't want to see my face. I still got to get better at this. <sighs> Switch game. Let's see. Oh, yep. And while I do that, I drop a pole. Oh, and it's gone. Oh. Is that better? Probably not, huh? Whew, she toasty. She got toasty. So I'm thinking of either waiting here or there's a, another bench in point six that I could wait for Hardy Man. But let's see how nice this upcoming bridge is. This is going to be a long one, folks. It's going to be a long one. Stick around. Uh, wow. Old pylons from Old Bridge. Hmm. That was a lot taller. You'd think the water just keeps on getting taller itself. Let us see what we got here. Nessie, calm down now. Calm down. We still got to dismount and walk you. Easy now. Easy now. Don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. So here are both of the views of the river. And the trail continues this way. Okay, wasn't really a good time to say it. There were a lot of people around. Eh. And you gotta be respectful of all the people around you. They don't wanna hear me talking about getting all, um, not trying not to get too excited about the river and Nessie and having a dismount. But what I was gonna say, now that I'm back in the woods by myself and I have freedom to roam, who's gonna hear me, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> But what I was going to say is shout out Cheetah <laughs> on the tangent of getting excited because a um, little inside joke that, I don't know, there might be some camouflage on it, might not be. But <laughs> if you know anything about Florida, um, you try to do the road walks in the morning when it's dark with the headlamp. So it's pitch black and you try to eat some miles and your mind has a lot of time to create scenarios. So um, you have a lot of walking and thinking and with no visual stimulation around you, because it's night, you visually stimulate in your mind. So shout out Cheetah. <laughs> oh man, I had to. Okay, um, we're gonna keep going. About point, I don't know, four now. Should be a bench that I'll wait on the hardy man. Well, there you go. Oh, something just jumped. So I literally took some film a second ago, but I had to grab that for y'all as well. Um, where that flat area is is where I'm assuming the bench is. So you want to walk and talk with me for a quick second we'll see if we can make it up there because i'm going to end up filming that anyway um again this is where i'm assuming it is just crossed a repaired bridge and let us see what we have around here nothing yet nothing yet nothing yet um there's that sandy shore Huh. I don't know. I'll probably, as soon as I... Oh, big gator just hanging out. Let me see if I can get you this. There you folks go. Just hanging out, doing his thing. Oh, baby. 
All right, right where I was filming a second ago is where I'm gonna take a break actually and just watch this gator. Um, just check the maps. So I didn't see a bench. Must have passed it a little bit ago back in there somewhere when I crossed that footbridge. But yeah, so I'm past the spot that I was gonna wait for Hardy. I'm gonna just kick it, watch the gator pal, um, filter some water and yeah. By far one of my favorite, we're gonna see if it becomes a favorite today it's already teetering on that fence. Um, it's between this and Big Cypress so far, but I think it's looking like today's gonna take the cake. Um, beautiful day, wow. The trail system's very pleasant. Just all of it, guys. Super happy. Cool, cool. Peace. Gator pal, let's see what you get up to. And he's going, he's going right over where the gator was. No worries at all. And this is... Half a boat length? Yeah, half a boat length. And this is when the gator attacks. You can see it's bubble still. It definitely was hanging out. It's still right in that area. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not doing anything. <laughs> well, guys, sorry. The footage wasn't as interesting as I thought it would be. <laughs> no. Uh, I just thought I would put it on there just in case. We let him know though. We we gave him a heads up, and he wasn't too scared. So that was the old bridge. Um, thankfully they put a new one there. <laughs> Little obstacle. All right, I wouldn't have forgiven myself if I just walked by this bench. I know how much y'all love when I film benches per the Ice Age Trail. I know you guys all, all loved it. And this was an FTA member, so I had to. I literally was down the path a little bit, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to stop, grab a, grab a bench shot. So I know how much you guys love it. I remember reading the comments of, why did you film so many benches? I know, you're just as excited about it as I am, so... First, no, I filmed more benches on this trail, but I purposely stopped for that bench. So, you're welcome. Go on with your bad self. Some cool signage. Penny Toll Bridge. Wish I had a penny. <laughs> oh God, that was a stupid one. All right, I'm gonna stop filming. It's not gonna get any better. Behind the scenes, taking a photo of Hardy with the palm tree. Beach life. Y'all got a lot of beaches around here. Um, yeah, really, really cool sections. But that beach, that water has gators. Okay, I think we had our last sighting of the river. Um, and also I just had my last duck metaphor. I don't know why, but I got really heavy in duck commentary. So if you are on gut hook and you look a lot at this river section, um, a lot of those comments are gonna be duck themed. Don't ask me why, don't know why. But I migrated my way out of it, finally, I think. Quack, gotta stop. Look how co close that squirrel is. Just no cares in the world, that zoomed out. Wow, squirrel buddy. Work it, squirrel, give me that sultry look, uh-huh. Give me that squirrely look, oh yeah, do it, do it. Now give me a little bit of that tail. Come on now. Oh yeah, squirrel. The camera loves ya. The camera loves ya. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop doing squirrel commentary. Oh, and and she's gone. Wondering too. So I want to turn around and get Hardy on this boardwalk, but I feel like I'll fall in. Spin move, spin move, spin move. Am I going off? Am I going straight? You're good. Oh, uh, Hardy's gonna say I'm good until I go step right in that swamp. So um, we just ran into a fellow Florida Trail no -bower. I didn't think uh, anybody was close by. Her name was Ann, I believe. Um, so we might end up seeing her again today. I do not know. Um, that is true. So. Unless she's staying in the motel. Yeah. She said she's a little slower, so she would still have some miles to do today to get where we're going. But, one moment. Hello. But, stuff like that's happened before. So. Yeah, ran into a no-bower, um, didn't really talk long. It seemed like she was on the phone or FaceTime or something. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. I think that's our first no-bower that we've run into. I'm definitely not walking backwards on this. Bust my ass. What do you mean you got a guide this time? Yeah, but I'll be like a bowling ball just bumping along the rails. Yeah, spinning And stepping off of that, Hardy? Oh my God, that's how you break a foot. Yeah. Magpie always likes when I walk backwards. Shout out. Always tells me I'm gonna bust my ass. Ah. Well, yeah, it's actually happened on the Florida Trail. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. All right, one second you're in the jungle. Next second, you are on what appears to be highway slash. <laughs> Slash, oh man, sidewalk road walking. All right, there's a white blaze that way, orange blaze this way, orange blaze that way. So we cross the street. Kill, kill. Whew. By now. Yeah. Nice little cor corner store. Grab, apparently they got some good chicken. All right, so here we are at Round Lake Park. Water fountains right on the side of the restrooms. Little free library. It's, kind of, it's a city park. It has everything that a city park has. And we're taking a quick break. We've been pavement pounding for about a mile and we got underneath 10 left, but taking a break um, to get prepped for the road walk to come. So we're gonna plan on where our next water is um, like I said, good water at Round Lake Park, um, the water fountain, and then you have to get water for the camp tonight. So, yeah, that's about it. Gonna rest off the feet for a little bit. Cool, cool. Florida Trail. Do they expect us to squeeze through that? They expect us to squeeze through that. It's super locked. All right, pack off. Shit. What is the Florida Trail thinking? <laughs> There's no way. Is that the Florida Trail thinking? Yeah. Locked gate. Jesus. All right, Florida. Yeah, your way was quicker. I had to do the pack off. Nice little uh, picnic tables. There's a water fountain. Nice little path we're on. It is the Seminole County Florida's natural choice path. Cool. We'll keep on cruising. We'll definitely keep on.
that I've ever had to experience inside the tent. I'm gonna push out some hard working out, but there, there has to be a blend there that you find. Oh no, but that's the thing, you don't necessarily have to, like you gotta find the blend so you don't get hurt. Uh-huh. Well, you are strong. You just got to scale it. You haven't been in the gym in a minute. <laughs> you just got to get the weight. Yeah, you got the mentality of, oh, I'm going to just crush it. But your muscles, they're still there, but they need a little, a little catch up time. that keeps calling, trying to figure out how to get across. That was the biggest uphill we've done on the Florida Trail, baby. Yeah, there was a bigger bridge. Was there? I remember one in oh yeah, there was. Oh, cramp. <laughs> I mean, it could, it doesn't look like it though. Are you turning down there? No. Oh, road miles. But it's a nice scenic bike path. Very nice. So the best spot to get water when you're doing this, at least for what we're doing, gonna be doing tonight, is Central Winds Park. And you follow this fence line for, not this fence, but the fence past that for a long time. So you can't cut over. You kind of have to do a U shape and then head towards this big center building. And it looks like there are restrooms here. If you're going down the center line between two ballparks, you're going the right way. And that looks like where the Agua should be i mean if there's not a fountain outside the restrooms themselves will have it so we're gonna find something found it if you're on the men's restroom side at the baseball softball wsbr right there is a water fountain and it's on it looks like cold clear water Whew. feet talking to us feet are talking to us so really looking forward to a nearer day tomorrow oh man First New York day, nine, 10 days. Well, we did one at River Ranch, but we didn't stay there. We still did mid 20 out of there. Um, first day that we'll actually stay in town. Um, showers, laundry, we stink so bad. Oh, I mean, when it poured on us the other day with the clip, um, the shirt, I thought it was gonna get clean. It just extruded oil. Like I was more oily and dirty after the rain, the downpour, because all my stuff is just soaked with oil, body oil, yummy. <laughs> so yeah, we're making moves. We're gonna get it. A couple more miles, baby. So nice strip mall to the left with the Dunkin' Donuts. Um, and then there's, I don't know, classic strip mall stuff. It looks like there's other restaurants and some goodies so if you want to stop in that is the villa gold wait villaggio <laughs> okay that's what it is or stone gable something along those lines all right
safe place. Morning, morning. So that must be what Hardy saw. A gopher tortoise. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to try to film more because it is dark out. As you can see, you can't. So I'm going to keep on stepping. Oh, so you're not going to be able to see this cool tunnel. Maybe I can try to grab the light from the cars. Give me one sec. Nope, <clears throat> that is not any better. But cool overpass we're going through. Um, yeah, <laughs> I bet you all can think and see it's super cool. Sorry, guys. Let's get it. So off to up my left is Big Tree Park. And um, it used to be where the tallest cypress in Florida was, apparently until an arsonist burnt it down in 2012. So no bueno, no bueno. Um, wow, I can't see at all with this is a bright light. Oh buddy, I cannot see where I am going. Um, but yeah, we're still doing bike paths. Why I keep looking down and to the left and the right is I literally cannot see anything. Um, but we're doing bike paths this morning and got about, I don't know, six more miles until we hit Heathrow, town of Heathrow, little community. And that's where we're gonna Nero. So we're gonna get in there at 8 a.m., 9 a.m. and um, hope these uh, Modi Hodi owners take compassion on us because we stink. We have just been fantasizing, not even about town food, honestly, um, just about showers and laundry. Like, I think I described this yesterday, the amount of oil in every piece of my gear is so nasty. Well, every piece besides 11 short, sky shorts, shameless plug. <laughs> it's not really a shameless plug if, like, if you guys watch my videos, you know I don't do gear reviews because it really is personal preference, even with the gear we make but i gotta tell you they have not turned to any cardboard consistency or anything for we'll be getting above 400 miles today um it's like mile 390 officially on the florida trail but with that reroute in the beginning doing extra miles we'll be have hiked more than 400 haven't washed the shorts once and they're still like brand new baby um fabric is just right doesn't get any starch consistency. So yeah, shameless plug, but not really shameless because like I promised y'all in the beginning, if you want the gear, get the gear. If you don't want the gear, it's personal preference. So we're gonna keep plugging and I, w I think I went off on a tangent. <laughs> An NYPD cop car. Oh my God. Um, I think I went off on a tangent, but um, yeah, we're hoping these Hody Modi Owners take some compassion on us because we stink and are fantasizing about a shower and laundry. All right, cool, cool. Peace. All right, apparently that bakery is pretty bomb. A lot of good comments on it, but as of 6.30, if you're trying to do these morning miles or I don't know how you're going to do your miles, but it's not open early morning, at least of today's Tuesday. So, yeah, I wouldn't say it's open early morning. And then I also realized when I was doing my shameless plug, I was just filming my belly. So you got some good belly shots in there. We just trying to get to town and Hardy trying to play some games over here. Oh man. That should be the name of the documentary for the Florida Trail. Or sticky when wet with the mud, one of the two. So today 
today is also the first day, if you can see, I don't have my makeshift tourniquet on my knee. Um, it's actually getting strong enough, all the muscles around it, not to uh, do the double wrap technique. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, a lot of energy. Really stoked to be getting a break here in a sec. Um, we got like four more miles, maybe five more miles. Any type of miles, we're gonna get there by nine o'clock, the latest, probably 8.30 and go to the corner store to grab some uh, laundry snacks because once we sit down, um, it's gonna be hard to get back up for a little bit. And it's a big town, so I gotta wear a big towel. Can't do smaller the town, smaller the towel. So we'll see how it treats us. Let go. Oh, also, I had to put this in here. I just sent the cheetah a couple photos that I am so stoked to get the reaction from. I can't, I haven't been able to stop laughing for the past mile or two. So really, really excited. All right, cheetah, check them out. All right, so as you start eating, eating the miles along this road walk, the first little bit, you got water every two, three miles. Eh, same thing here. So I thought I was gonna say something different, but I'm not. Water's pretty frequent, um, two, three miles apart. And then if you want water that's not uh, water fountain water or you want a Gatorade, there's corner stores as well. So options upon options. Oh, there's a creepy guy in this tunnel. a really creepy monk in this tunnel. <laughs> hey, I got people, watch out. There's gonna be some creepiness through here. <laughs> that seems like it's gonna be your home, man. You like that spot. I like the acoustic spot. All right, you didn't get to see the one bridge in the dark that we passed that I was saying was cool. You heard me commentate on it, but this one's cooler anyway, so you get to see this one. Sweet. Another cool bridge about across the interstate. Very cool. You don't want to play Frogger on that road. So we made it to town. This, what you're looking at, that sidewalk is actually trail. And this is a Publix right on trail. And the map says last full grocery store for 200 miles. So we're gonna see what we can get. Um, it's 8.30 AM and the Modi's behind this, the Hampton Inn. So we're gonna also see if we can do anything there. Um, it's early, but we're gonna try to plead our case. First gonna grab some snacks. All right, folks, I'm gonna give you the lowdown scoop. Honestly, I might just eat out of this Publix today. One of the most well-stocked Publixes I've ever been to. 
but um, we're taking shifts. Hardy just went in. So I'm chowing down on some chicken fingers about 8 a.m. Never too early for chicken fingers. So this is what I got because once we get to that hotel, when we're doing laundry, you can't really run out because I can't do small of the town, smaller, small of the towel right now because it's um, a big town. So I would need clothes what, big, or a big towel, a big towel slash clothes. So I got a few of these, um, about three of them just to tie me over for drinks. Then I got a Yerba Mate, looked pretty interesting. And then got a little sandwich for during laundry time. Got some cookies to we'll split with Hardy. And then the Chex Mix was buy one, get one free. So kind of had to do that. Um, but I wanted to give you the scope of what a little hiker snack sesh looks like. This should all be gone within four hours tops. Um, about the time it takes to check into a hotel, decompress, shower, laundry, do a second load of laundry. So this is just the mid-morning, early morning, mid-morning kind of run. This Publix is stoked. So yeah, kicking it here for Hardy and then we're gonna go try our hand at checking in. I don't know how early they'll let us in, but we'll try. Oh, uh, speak. So this, this stuff, I can touch on this real quick. I found this is really good for towns. Um, it's a little bit on the pricier side. These drinks are hover around like 250 uh, per drink. But when I say it's gonna all go, like these three drinks will probably last me all day because I'll intermix them with water to hydrate. Like not mix this with water, but drink water in between drinking these. Um, but they're really good. They're kind of, yeah, they're kind of teas slash, yeah, they give you a little bit of antioxidants. A um, little bit of caffeine in green, tea, in green tea. It's like very negligible how much. Um, but I really enjoy them. So everybody has their preference. Do what you want. It used to be on the Gatorade train, Powerade train when I got to Towns. But it was just too much sugars. And these have one gram of sugar for the entirety of it. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on. And we're going to try to check into the hotel. Cool, cool. All right, go ahead. Break that seal. Break that seal. Oh, oh, man, and it's nice. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Welcome to the hiking casa. Oh, put some stuff down. Oh, buddy. So, super friendly front desk receptionist. Um, when we first walked in, she was, like Hardy said, a little skeptical, but we hit her with the um, Florida Trail Hikers. And um, yeah, she was super, ooh, that sounds a little weird. She was super nice because it's like right past 9 a.m. and we were able to check in. So, oh, first break spot. Two things of laundry and we're about to get, get clean. Oh, it feels so good. All right, that's it, folks. That is it. That section is done.